Perfect. All right, let's go to Mike Trudell, please. Hey, Trez, what was the key in that fourth quarter after Orlando had battled back to get the lead? Uh, where did you guys buckle in to, to turn the game back around? Um, we started packing the paint, uh, making them uh, make extra passes and uh, shoot um, uncomfortable threes that they didn't want to take. Um, you know, they're a big team known for scoring a lot in the paint and, uh, you know, causing a lot of heavy with driving, driving, um, and then finding somebody down low uh, on the baseline. So we really just wanted to pack the paint and make sure that, you know, we make them kick it out and then we close out to a three-point line. And Trez, uh, just before the game, we learned that Andre Drummond uh, is going to be joining the mix. Just wonder what you thought of him and battles you guys have had over the years and uh, what he might add to you. Um, I mean, he's a strong side of the player, man, uh, on both ends of the floor, man, offensively and defensively, um, high caliber blocking shots, uh, defensive rebound on the offensive uh, end of the floor. He's a load. Uh, guy gets down in the lane and uh, demands his position. And, uh, you know, you, you can't miss him, man. He's, he's a big dominant presence, and uh, it's definitely going to be a good, um, you know, breath of fresh air to having uh, him come on top line up. You know, I think he's eager and ready to go and uh, ready to get after it. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's a great attitude that, you know, anybody can have coming into an organization. So, uh, we can't wait for him to get here, and uh, we're going to welcome, uh, welcome him with open arms and uh, hopefully just continue to uh, keep what we're doing uh, well right now. Dan Wicke. Hey, Trez. Um, what, what happened uh, to your knee? It looked like you were shaking up a little bit, and uh, obviously you were able to stay in the game, but if you could just kind of let me know what happened. Uh, it's one of those uh, plays, like kind of like a funny one on your, uh, on your elbow. Um, got your baseline real hard, and um, I wear a pad on that knee, but he, you know, knee me literally right behind the pad. Uh, so it was kind of one of those things where you know I kind of felt like a tingling sensation going through my leg, and kind of just went on for a little minute. Um, but it's like I said, it's one of those funny ball type things. I'm fine, but um, definitely uh, something that scares you uh, when it happens at that first uh, point of contact. Kyle Goon. Hey, Trez, um, you were talking about Andre and sort of how he's fired up. I, I guess it sounds like you, you've been able to talk to him. Um, what, what has your communication been like with Andre uh, kind of leading up to uh, him joining the team? Uh, well, I'm not going to lie to you about that. I haven't talked to him, honestly, man. This is just more so coming from, um, you know, the reports and uh, just from our, um, you know, GM uh, Rob, um, speaking highly uh, of him and his conversation with him, man. So, you know, just look at it, looking at things like that, man, you just see a guy who's ready to go. Um, and then just in general, uh, of me being a player and understanding his position, man, this guy's been sitting for, you know, two and a half months almost where he hasn't played the game that he he loves and he, he's uh, able to, you know, be able to call his job, man. I mean, anybody would be eager to get back out there on the floor and be ready to get out there. Um, so, you know, basically uh, it's one of those things just speaking from, you know, a player's perspective. Bill Oram. Hey, Trez. Um, Frank said before the game that, you know, when it comes to a situation like this, when they're bringing in a player, that they almost over-communicate with, you know, like a guy like yourself who plays plays the same position. Um, do you have a sense of how bringing Andre in could uh, affect your role, affect the big man rotation, and, and what, what's going to be different going forward? Um, no, um, I haven't thought about that. Um, it's not some uh, for me to think about. Um, it's not in my control. It's not something that, you know, I make decisions on. Um, you know, people, uh, well, us in general, everybody, uh, human beings, we spend a lot of time um, wondering about the things that we can't control, that we don't have any, um, you know, basically any control on, man. So uh, everything that you just mentioned is everything coming from the top office and uh, coaching staff. Um, it's nothing to do with me. Um, I'm going to continue to keep playing the way that I play, bringing the energy that I bring, and just, you know, hope my teammates uh, feed off it. Um, we got a great player. And Andre Drummond, who was going to definitely help our team on both ends of the floor um, and help our organization overall. But, you know, it's not something that I, you know, kind of wrap my mind on or, or you know, jump in my head for a million questions because at the end of the day, I, I don't have the answers to them. 